Right, you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft ends support for Android apps in Windows 11. That means that the Amazon App Store will no longer exist when you search for it. So the WSA, which is the subsystem for Android, which was introduced back in October 2021 by Microsoft, which means as a result, the Amazon App Store will no longer exist either. So that means all the applications and games that were dependent for WSA will no longer be supported from the beginning of March 5th, 2025. Until then, technical support will remain available to customers. But you will not be able to search for the Amazon App Store or any of that or install it anymore. It's not going to be supported. Before we dive in any deeper, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over there and basically create your account. And once you purchase your key, you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, you will be able to pay via PayPal. They will then send you your key and you will then be able to activate your version of Windows just like you see right here on the screen. Very simple and easy to do. So although the final cutoff date is not until March 5th next year, Microsoft says that it has already begun the process of ending support for both Amazon App Store and Android apps on Windows 11, which I think is very disappointing. Again, Microsoft seem to be doing this with a lot of their stuff lately. They're ending support for it very, very early. This has only been around since October 2021, and they're already discontinuing it and killing it off, which I find very frustrating. And they seem to have put a lot of work into getting the support ready for it. And of course, you can see by all these updates that they released uh, back in the day where they were releasing them quite regularly and fixing a lot of things. So they put a lot of time and effort into getting it working and rolling it out to the general public. But for some reason, they've just pulled the plug on it and given up on the actual Windows subsystem for Android altogether, which is quite disappointing. Now, there's a couple of reasons I think Microsoft may have ended support for the Windows subsystem for Android. One of them is basically that uh, even though the Windows subsystem for Android provides a single path to a running Android app, it's never really connected to Android's central app marketplace which is like your google play store compared to uh, the google play store amazon had a much smaller selection of applications to choose from so you can see uh, that is probably one of the key reasons why microsoft ended support for the windows subsystem for android and they tell you all about it on their article i'll leave a link to these in the video description and you can read all about that uh, there it just explains exactly what microsoft's plans are uh, ending support for the Windows subsystem for Android and basically as a result the Amazon App Store on Windows and all its applications and games dependent on the Windows subsystem for Android will no longer be supported from the beginning of March 5th 2025. Until then technical support will remain available to customers and it explains all this on their website. And the other main reason why I think Microsoft may have pulled the plug on the uh, Windows subsystem for Android is the lack of uptake on the Windows subsystem for Android altogether by the Windows 11 community. No one was really using it. Well, not a majority of people were using it, and maybe that's the reason why they just pulled the plug on it. Also, that means the Amazon App Store will also be ending uh, support for it as well, because obviously without Microsoft, uh, there's no point having it supported by this either. So they have pulled the plug as well. So that means it's pretty much done and dusted. And I think the reason for this is Microsoft are doing a massive purge on a lot of old applications they have installed on their operating system. They're sort of cleaning it out, cleaning the house and removing a lot of stuff. And I think it's ready for this big AI or co-pilot push for the next OS. I think they're just going to be pushing AI completely in their next operating system and it's just moving away from projects like these which would just add more bulk to the operating system so maybe they're decluttering it a little bit by just removing projects that aren't really that popular 
by the masses. There is probably a few people that were using the Windows subsystem for Android, but just not enough to keep it going. And I think that's probably the main reason why they've pulled the plug on it. So let me know in the comments section below whether you was using the Windows subsystem for Android and whether you was enjoying it or whether you've never used it before and you never even knew it existed and uh, whether it bothers you or not. I'll be interested to read all your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you guys have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.